Hey, what's happening, YouTube? It's Christopher, and I'm going to give you guys yet another amplifier review. Today, we're going to look at the Fender Champion 100, which is a solid state option from Fender. It's 100 watts, it's got two 12 inch speakers in there. It's uh, basically a two channel amp. It comes with a foot switch that you can switch on and off the effects, and you can switch the uh, channels. I don't have it out right now. I don't need it because I'm in a little room and I'm just playing with the buttons. Um, <clears throat> I went out and got this guy last night so that I could play around with it today during the blizzard we're having here in New England. And um, i got to say, I'm pretty impressed with this little amp. It sounds really good for, you know, I, I can't even say it's good for the price. It just sounds good, period. But uh, price-wise, it's 349 bucks, brand new. Um, there's two models of this that you can get. There's this one, which is the black and silver, you know, traditional Fender amp look. And they also have a, a limited edition one that's the same thing, but with a red Tolex uh, for exactly the same price. So you're not paying extra for the red Tolex, which is pretty cool. Um, all they had at the store that I went to, which was uh, the Music Mill in Manchester, New Hampshire, was this one. It's the black one. Uh, but I like this amp a lot. Right now I'm going to show you guys the clean channel. And I'll just tell you a little bit about what each knob does and, and we'll see how they sound. So this side over here is the clean channel. You've got a volume, treble, bass, no mids, um, an effects level, and an effects select. So right now the effects select is turned off. My bass is on about 8.5. My treble is on 5. My volume is on about 2.5. And it's very dry, and you get this. Very dry, clean tone. But it's very punchy, and it's a really good, clean sound. Um, I'll run through very quickly what the effects do here. So the first one that we encounter on, on the knob right now, it's set to off. We go up one and it's for the wah, which is an auto wah function. And of course with any auto wah, your dynamics and how hard you pick will change the effect. So... <laughs> level is on four so if we crank it up to ten you really hear the effect better the volume goes down on the channel because the wah kind of clamps it a little bit fun little thing to play with. I tooled around with that for a while last night. Uh, next thing you encounter here, we have a flanger. So we'll crank that up so you can really hear the effect. It's up to 10 there. sounds cool then we get to the vibra and on the vibra there's a longer line for the vibra which tells me there's multiple settings so there's one two for the vibra so the first one is looks like a, a slow vibration so you get this <laughs> slow and it's very kind of nice actually the second setting looks like it's a little faster almost a slapback style I guess mm -hmm.
Pretty cool. Next we've got chorus, delay, and reverb. So the first setting is pretty much just chorus. <laughs> that you see where this is blinking that means that you can control how fast the effect is working using the tap button and I'll show you that with the delay it's a little more apparent if you use delay so the next setting here is chorus and delay so right now our amount of delay is this tip, 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 tip. right goes right with the light so if I wanted to change that now it's going much slower. So it's a cool tap delay function that you have there. Um, and of course I got it cranked, so you can control how much of that is coming through. So the next section is chorus, delay, and reverb all combined. And every time you change the knob, whatever setting it was left on is what it goes to with the light. So now you can hear there's a lot of reverb going on there. I'm going to crank it up see how it sounds for reals. sound when you get it cranked like that. It sounds like it's coming from another room. Pretty neat. Next we got just a straight up delay. This one looks like it's on a slap back. You see how fast that light's going. Good for those kind of uh Chicken picking riffs, which I don't know any, so I'm not going to attempt any. Right? I've never learned any chicken picking. I should, because it's awesome. But you can get the cool sound. Uh, the second delay is going to be slower. So this I really like. Um, with the effects level, you can make this delay nothing. You can make it a tiny bit, which doesn't happen yet. There it is. But what I really have fun with is when you turn it all the way up and it doubles your note. Right? So if I pick one time, my second delay is just as loud as my first picked note. So you can do the cool uh, Eddie Van Halen swell thing or the Nuno Betancourt Flight of the Bumblebee type of thing where you can do the uh... I do. I, I sit here forever. My girlfriend probably hates it, but it's fun. Uh, after that, we've got a trem. So it's pretty neat. Then we get a slap back style. Very cool. After that, we get into the reverb and delay. So, right here it's reverb and delay. Very huge. 
huge, beautiful, lush sounding stuff coming out of this here. I, I could play with this forever. So this is fun for me. <laughs> six and a quarter if I turn this down to like three it gets kind of cool you can still hear your notes a lot better you can only really hear it when it deadens when you stop playing beautiful cleans then of course the next setting we got is reverb it's a spring reverb. So if we crank it up and you can hear the reverb really good. Spring reverb, very nice. Uh, the second setting here is, I believe, a plate reverb. the hall reverb it's very big <laughs> okay so that's the clean channel sounds beautiful I love it a lot I could sit on it for days uh, then we channel select over to the gain side of things and it's really not just gain it's a it's a real two channel amp um, the only drawback to this amp is you've got all these amazing settings but you can only use uh, a clean setting and then the second channel setting you know what I mean like you gotta you gotta pick one it's not like a programmable amp where you can find a cool setting, save it, and go on and make another one and have a whole bunch of presets that you can toggle through, which would be really cool to have. But it's not really what this amp is doing. It's basically you, you select a sound on one channel and select a sound on another channel, and that's what you play with uh, during a setting. Uh, but, you know, you can record with this amp and get all kinds of tones and dial in stuff and play stuff and record it, and it would sound beautiful. Um, but let's go through this channel, see what we get for tones. The first thing we have on the bottom of the dial is the jazz setting, which is another clean, really. Uh, it's a little bit different voiced because now you have treble mid and bass controls. So that's the jazz setting. Uh, my settings on the bass, middle, and treble are 7, 1. I'm going to put that up to 5. So 7, 5, 5. And I think I'll leave them there. I might tweak them a little bit just so you can hear how dynamic it is. Okay, that's got a little bit of reverb on it right now. So if I turn that up a bit, you can hear it better. And by the way, the effects are exactly the same on this channel as they are on the first channel. So you can get the same exact effects from each channel. You just got to dial them in separately. Uh, it's kind of cool that they did it that way. Instead of one effects and it affects both. Do you know what I mean? It's just one global one. I like having two. 
uh, and the fact that I have two different levels. So I can have one reverb that's the same on both channels at different levels, which is nice. Um, but it's all exactly the same, so I'm not going to go through those effects again. I might change them a little bit just for different sounds so you can get a cool tone. But uh, this is the jazz. A little bit of reverb. Just another clean, really. Um, after that, we get into the first setting that starts to add some gain. It's tweed. I think there's four different tweeds. There's four different black, black faces, and then there's four different British and three different metal. So here's the first tweed. Start to get a little bit of a punchy uh, cut breakup, I guess, of the game. Still fairly clean, but I have my gain channel set to uh, five. So if I crank the gain up on that. So that's the first tweed, the second tweed. Now you'll hear the voicing changes a lot. So if I go between them. This tweed setting is much quieter. But I think the gain is a little bit more pronounced. So if I turn the gain up again. some nice nice sounds out of that third tweed sound the gain jumps up so it looks like it's just going to jump up and gain each step settings. The volume jumped down a lot on that one. Very cool sounding. We'll use this one to check out what the mids does here, right? So if we change the mid settings, we've got it cranked now, we've got a lot of mids. All the way down to a scoop tone. is the first black face. That's pretty clean. I got the gain up at uh, just about nine and it's still pretty clean. Next black face. So it looks like what's going to happen is each step up is going to be a bump in the gain. one. 
turn some of this uh, reverb down a tiny bit. And the final of the blackface sounds. It's got some serious gain going on. Now's the first of the British. Immediately start to get that uh, honkier tone. And turn the gain down to about six here, see what it sounds like. into the metal side of things and it's going to get a little hairy. I've found that with the metal settings you have to play with the EQ uh, to dial in a really good tone. Which that one's not too bad but it's a little mid heavy. It definitely needs some bass. And a little less mids from me. That's too dark. Let's try three. Thank you. 
cool. Uh, let's see, the last one on the metal. Oh, we've gone into dime bag territory. You can start to hear the, uh, oh, my cable's making some noise here. You can start to hear the, the digital side of this metal tone right here. You can hear it. It's a little bit more hairy, a little fuzzy. Right, that's what's remem reminiscent to me. See what it sounds like when you crank the gain on this channel. It's going to be kind of obnoxious. <laughs> thing takes to pedals because I don't have any pedals so I, I can't really put anything in front of it I'm going to show you how it works I do know that the headphones jack works awesome I played with some headphones on earlier this morning as to not wake up anybody um, and it sounds really good through the headphones I was very surprised they must be like a, a speaker emulated out on that headphones jack because it sounds really nice I did try the pre out this guy going into my computer, so right into my audio interface and then into Reaper. And it sounds okay. Um, I think I would need to add a software speaker emulator or, or impulse response uh, to make it sound really good. But uh, it's nice to have. You can direct out record from the amp, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but overall, for the money that you pay, 349 bucks, I think this amp is a super win from Fender. Uh, especially if you, you know, don't want to have to maintain tubes, you know, you get good volume out of this thing. Uh, again, I'm going to try it in my band room and let you guys know how that works. This video has gone on for far too long, so I'm going to let you guys go now. But that's the sound you get out of the Fender Champion 100. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, happy Blizzard Day if you live in New England or this part of the world. We're getting some serious snow out there, so I got some shoveling to do in a little while. Um, I should also mention today's pick is the Gravity Stealth. This pick is awesome. Uh, it's 
three millimeters. Yep, three millimeters thick. It's got the cool holes in it. Uh, very grippy. Uh, the only problem I have with it is it's very chirpy on the high strings, so you get this effect. When you're picking, you can hear that chirp. So you can hear that beep, 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 beep every time you pick. Uh, other than that, great pick. It feels really awesome. It's really three picks in one, so you get three tips. They're all exactly the same. Uh, I like it. Check those out, too. Um, but yeah, there it is. Fender Champion 100. Awesome amp. Um, check them out yourself. It's 212. It's super freaking light because it's a you know solid-state amp. It's not No heavy transformer in there or anything like that. It comes with a foot switch, two button, and uh, it's pretty simple to use. So check them out, man. I like it. I hope you like it. Take care, YouTube. We'll see you on the next one.